Hey, Chris Dunning here, CEO of Tech Quarters. This morning, we're going to talk to you about the differences between Google Apps and Office 365. So, let's do a little bit of a comparison. So, what you have here in Office 365 and Google are all the different facets and all the things that are included. So, here, if you look at the documents, you have Word. Here, you have Google Docs. Some of you will see some of the other areas like SkyDrive Pro within Office 365. You actually get Google Drive in Google Apps. And also SharePoint for your websites within Google Apps. It's sites. And here, Link, some of you might be familiar with Skype. Link is the big brother of Skype, which is part of Office 365. And Hangout is what it's called in Google Apps. So quite a comparable product. Okay, so let's talk about a little bit about the user interface. So with Office 365, you're going to get familiarity. Everybody knows all the Office products, the Word, the Excel, the Outlook. That's one of the key benefits of Office 365. Features can be found easily, and then obviously you can you get to know your common apps that you use on a day-to-day -day basis. With Google Apps, it's a cloud-based system, 100% based, 100 all in the cloud. All the applications are accessed through a web browser. So, uh, and you can also connect using your Outlook, but you have to have a little connector called an iSync, Google Sync, that will send down all of the email to your Outlook clients. So slightly different in their look and feel and the way that you access your cloud solutions. Okay, what system requirements do you need if you want to connect onto your cloud? So with Office 365, you need Office 2007 or above. Any of those will connect. So if you're on Office 2010, that will connect perfectly. Office 2013, obviously you're on the latest version, that will connect. Uh, you do need Windows 7 or above, unless you've got really new Windows XP machines. You might have to put some RAM into those, but if you've got old XP machines, uh -uh, it's a no-no. So, Internet Explorer 8 or above to connect you on. Now, when you move into Google Apps, it's all web-based, so you need a browser that is suitable and on your desktop to connect to it. You don't need any additional software unless you're using your Outlook to connect into the Google Sync and receive your email. Okay, so document creation. A lot of people talk about this, the big difference between Google Apps and Office 365. Obviously, if you choose Office 365, you're going to get the Microsoft Crown Jewels. That's Word, that's Excel, that's PowerPoint, all of those things that you're used to. Word, obviously, everybody uses that on the desktop, nine times out of ten. However, some people who have moved to Google Apps, you might find that you're using Google Docs, which is a comparable product to the Word, uh, word processing software, but it's all accessed through the web. Uh, chat and communication, this is quite interesting. With Office 365 you get Link, but another thing that's just come into play is Yammer. Yammer is a Facebook for your business. It's a way of connecting the whole of the community and the business and sharing information to that community immediately. Link is one-to-one -one or one-to-many calls, but through instant messenger, through VoIP, and instant uh, desktop sharing and uh, live meetings. So if you move to Google Apps, You've got something similar, it's called Google Talk, but it's not quite as advanced as this, it doesn't contain that Yammer look and feel product. Okay, let's move on to the pricing. So, you've got a variety of options here with Office 365. Classic Microsoft, they allow you to buy everything as a separate, so here's an example, £2.60 for exchange, or you can buy everything thrown in for a bundle price, which generally gives you about a 40% cost saving. Here with Google Apps, you're paying roughly the same as Office 365. It's broadly £50 a, a, a user per, £50 a year per user. So you can take some of the options out, but it's roughly the same as if you were buying the exchange side of things. So those are the prices. Yeah, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you about it. Office 365 or Google Apps, we do them both. Speak to you soon. Take care.